Well, welcome to the Transform My Dance Studio podcast, the only podcast for dance studio owners, where each week we bring you business growth strategies to help you increase your profits, impact the lives of more students, while ensuring you get back some time to have a little life outside of the studio. It's time for you to become the go-to studio in your area. Now, here's your host, founder of the Dance Studio Owners Association, Clint Salter. Hey there, Dance Studio Owners. It's Clint Salter here. Welcome to... A very special episode today. We are calling this Monday Motivation Monday. And what we're going to be doing for you, we're shaking it up a little bit over the next two weeks. Every day, Monday to Friday, we're going to be bringing you a short, up to 10 minute episode with a tip or a tactic that you can apply to your studio or your thinking, or your leadership, or how you attract students, or how you retain students, or hire teachers, or how you embrace technology uh, inside of your studio. So stay with us over the next two weeks, every single day, Monday to Friday, we're going to be bringing you something super cool that you can take action on today. I'm super pumped because we have the amazing Jane Gretsch, our studio growth coach inside of the Dance Studio Owners association with a really important mindset, a strategy for you to take on board. And hey, I also want to announce something else really exciting is we have just opened the doors for free registration to a brand new training that we've created just for you called New Student Blitz. Brand new. I'm super pumped for this. If you want to get into this training, it's free. All you need to do is text the word student blitz or one word student blitz to 44222. If you're outside of the USA, just go to our website, dance studio owners association.com forward slash student blitz or Type new student blitz into Facebook and join our free Facebook group for this training. Hope to see you inside the training. Uh, Have an amazing day and enjoy this tip from our association coach, Jane Gretsch. Hello, dance studio owners. It's Jane Gretsch here, studio growth coach for Dance Studio Owners Association and leadership expert for the Inner Circle. It's great to be talking to you today about a concept that I hope really helps you when you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. It's known as the circle of control. It has a few other names, but we'll go with that. And it's been made famous. Uh, It's not my idea, but it's been made famous by Stephen Covey. He was the author of the seven habits of highly effective people. And if you're looking for something to add to your reading list, may I suggest that book? Because it really has been um, a great influence over the way I've lived my life. Let's uh, drill down though to the circle of control a little bit more and how it can help you manage perhaps overwhelm or anxiety um, or just feeling a little bit out of your depth. I want you to imagine a large circle and inside that a smaller circle. The smaller circle is what's inside your circle of control and the larger circle on the outside of that is what's not in your circle of control. Now, Stephen Covey, he goes into a little more detail about this, but I've simplified it um, for the work that I do with my students and as well with the work that I do with my staff. Just the two circles is fine. When you're feeling like life's kind of coming at you, have a look at what falls into those two circles. One, you can actually do something about, and the other, not so much. Um, One of the examples I use with my students, uh, you know, if they come to me and they say they're worried about their ballet exam, for example, I say we we grab a a whiteboard marker and we draw the circles up on the whiteboard and I go, all right, let's flesh this out. And they're used to this now. They can do it by themselves most of the time. Let's flesh this out. What can you do about being worried about your dance exam, your ballet exam? And they give me the right answers most of the time. So it might be that they make sure their attendance in class is, is constant. It might be that they work really hard to apply their corrections. 
It might be that they write their corrections down. They take extra classes, right? All of that, they have the power. What they don't have the power over is actually the content, you know, so therefore it's not the content of the exam, therefore it's no use whinging, for want of a better word, whinging about, you know, how hard the pirouette is because it's not going to change anything and it's certainly not going to make your pirouette any better. Um, or whinging about how tougher an examiner you've been allocated or the fact that it could be really, really hot or really, really cold that day or the fact that the floor is um, not your ideal surface if, if you're going into a different exam room. None of those things you can change. So you want to bring them back to focusing on what they can change and spend your energy worrying and acting on those. My grandmother, God rest her soul, she gave me great advice and said, darling, don't worry about the things that you can't change. And uh, look, I know it's easier said than done, right? I'm with you. But it's great advice. And, and this circle of control can really kind of drill that down and make us reflect on what we can and can't do. Um, the idea is if you've got a staff member that's coming to you that's worried about something, you can say to them, well, let's, let's put this in this diagram. If they're whinging about something that can't be changed, how can they change perhaps their behaviour to make it easier? Um, and, you know, it's the same with yourself. Running a dance studio is tough. I'm, I'm with you. I've, I've done it for 11 years and there are some days that I think, wow, you know, I, this is, this is hard work. Um, but look, you're not alone. There are dance studio owners all over the world feeling the same, but we are the lucky ones. You know, we are doing a job that lights us up and that we love. Um, and in every job, there's tough days. The other thing that I do is use a little bit of a scale. A scale of 1 to 10. What this does is just reframes in case I'm catastrophizing, in case I'm making a drama over something that perhaps doesn't need to be as dramatic. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being fairly, you know, mild and 10 being a complete catastrophe. Where does this actually sit? You know, whatever challenge I'm facing this day, where does this actually fit? And then after I've kind of put it on the scale and reframed my thoughts around it, now what can I do about it? What about this challenge is something that I have influence over? What can I change? Is it my behaviour? Can I speak with somebody else about their behaviour? And then what is it that I have no power over? What is outside my circle of control? At the end of the day, we need to be able to go home and put our head down on the pillow and let the day's worries slip away, hand them over to a greater power if that's what you believe in. Let them go because to run a studio you need to um, be able to sleep well and not be spending energy um, and, and having anxiety over things that you cannot change. You want to use your energy in a really positive light, in a real positive way to influence those around you. So I hope that this has been somewhat helpful to you. Um, certainly look up Stephen Covey's work. It's great work and I know it will influence the way you live your life and the way you teach your students and manage your team. The one I referenced before, is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and the author is Stephen Covey. It's been great chatting to you, and I hope that this has been helpful and that you have the rest of the day in a real positive way. I hope you enjoyed our first Motivation Monday episode with the amazing Jane Gretch, one of our coaches inside the Dance Studio Owners Association. Now, if you are thinking about how you're going to get students in January, one of the best months of the year to attract 
engage and enroll new students. We've got a free brand new two-week training for you that I would love for you to be a part of. It's called New Student Blitz. And you can sign up for this free two-week training. Simply text the word Student Blitz to 44222. If you're outside of the US, jump onto Facebook and search New Student Blitz. Blitz, join our group. That's where all the action is going to be happening, happening, and we look forward to seeing you in the training. Take care. See you tomorrow for our Tech Tuesday episode. You definitely don't want to miss that. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. For all the resource links from the show and to receive access to our free dance studio growth training, make sure you visit transformmydancestudio.com.